Today's video is all about making your pantry work harder for you. When you have an organized pantry, life gets so much easier. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my top tips and tricks to creating a really well organized, hardworking pantry. and welcome back to my channel. As most of you guys know, I've just moved into a new house and it is super exciting, but there's also so much to do. On moving day, my gorgeous friends put everything in the pantry, but basically what they did was they just popped everything in there. There was no order and today's the day where I get to have some fun and put everything in order and I thought that that would make it a good opportunity to bring you guys along for the ride and share some of my simple organization secrets to making sure that your pantry works really hard for you. If you'd like to know what my tips and tricks are, then just keep watching. Okay, this is the kitchen in my new house and as you can see here, the pantry is a bit of a mess. Now, my friends did an amazing job helping me move in, but as I said, everything was just placed in the pantry and there was no real order to it. So there's kind of stuff everywhere. I had actually tried to downsize a little too before I moved, so I didn't actually have to move with a super packed pantry. So if you're wondering why there's not loads of stuff in here, that will be why. So basically what I do when it comes to making over a pantry is just removing the items from a couple of shelves at a time. I do find it super overwhelming if you try and take absolutely everything out. So what I'm doing here is just taking out some items from a couple of shelves before going in and giving those shelves a really good clean. By tackling a couple of shelves at a time also means that you can clean as you go so it doesn't turn into a massive cleaning project as well. And of course you can always fine tune the organization of your pantry once you've actually got everything out, put it into the correct containers and placed everything back. So don't overthink it too much at this stage. Okay, everyone's budget is going to be different when it comes to choosing the containers for your pantry. Now, I was lucky enough to be gifted these click clack containers at the end of last year. So held on to them because I knew when I moved into my new house, they would be perfect for this pantry makeover. I already owned some click clack containers, so it was really cool to be able to add to my collection. One of the great things about this particular brand is that these containers are airtight. And over the years, I've opted for cheaper, containers and the problem with them is that they're generally not airtight so it kind of defeats the purpose. The other thing that I have used in the past is glass containers and I do find them good but the problem is that they're heavy. They're heavy to start with before you even put product inside them and this is the sort of container that I have used in the past. I now just use it for keeping my cookies on the counter next to my little coffee and tea making station. But I definitely find that the plastic containers are better because they put less strain on the pantry shelves. And they're also easier to maneuver when you're getting the containers in and out of the pantry, which is what you tend to do on a regular basis. So the lighter weight is definitely better in my opinion. I picked up these really cool labels from Kmart and they were $2 for two sheets which I thought was an absolute bargain. I just love the font and while labels aren't essential I do think it helps everyone in the family know exactly what is in the containers. Obviously the clear containers make it easy for you to see what's there but some things like quinoa and chia seeds and Various things may be tricky for other members of the family to, to differentiate, so the labels do tend to help. They also look cool, and while that isn't everything, I do think it's a little bit of fun just to make things look a little stylish as well. I know some people like using canisters in their pantry, but for me, I always opt for clear containers. I think the, the biggest value for me in using clear containers is being able to see at a glance when your products are running low. So it makes shopping and restocking a whole lot easier as well. And for me, it just tends to mean that I don't run out of things because I can really quickly see that I need to restock. The other tip that I can share when it comes to choosing containers is make sure that they're stackable. 
In the past, I've used all sorts of different containers, and while this is really cost effective, it often means that they don't stack well in your cupboards. And opting for containers that stack really well just means that you save space and it just gives you more options when it comes to where you place things in your pantry. So if you can afford it, try choosing containers that stack on top of each other. Now I would highly recommend investing in a couple of these clever storage ideas and the first one is this wire rack. Now I've seen these in made out of wood and plastic. This is one I've had for a number of years and it's basically just to tear your cans in your pantry. So it just makes it really easy to see exactly what you've got. The other reason I particularly like these wire racks is because you can actually store cans underneath it as well. You can just slide them into the side and it tucks them away out of sight but it just means it gives you a little extra storage as well. I find these really handy. These little turntables are also really handy and I've got two in my pantry. One as you can see here is for the oils and condiments that I use regularly and the other one I've just placed on the shelf below and it's for the spreads and different toppings that I also use regularly. So I just find these really handy. It just means that you can grab anything you want without having to move things and search for them in the back of your pantry. Baskets are also a really good idea when it comes to pantry storage. I think the main thing is that it helps to group similar items together and the other key thing about baskets being really handy is that you can actually see what's inside which makes it super easy when you're looking for something in particular. As you can see here I have a combination of baskets and I use the wire baskets for things like potatoes and muesli bars and then these big plastic bins are great for school snacks and other sort of miscellaneous items. It's also really important to prioritize where you place things in your pantry. So the rule of thumb is the things that you use regularly need to be placed at eye level and the things that you don't use so often like my extra coffee and tea supplies and my extra pasta supplies, they can be stored down low. It's also important to make sure that you have some empty spaces and it's for things that you bring home from the supermarket. You may not have time to decant them and pack them nicely into your pantry, but you can actually pop them in there quickly and get them out of sight until you do have time. Often when we make over our pantries, we use every single bit of available space, but it's really important to keep some space empty for those days that you do an extra big shop and you just need to have some extra supplies in your pantry. Also be sure when you are using baskets and bins to store things in your pantry that you group similar items together. So for instance in this basket I have all of my protein powders and collagen creamers so I know at a moment's notice exactly where they are. Every item in your pantry needs its own dedicated space. If it doesn't have this it means that your pantry will soon become a mess and disorganized. So make sure everything has its own little home. And here's a little before and after because, let's face it, who doesn't love a bit of a before and after? Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more. And yes, I will be posting a whole lot more home styling type videos because I've bought a new house. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. I won't make it easy for you now. It's up my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh, so give me, so give me